Your voice is basically your fingerprint, but louder. Let's try a little test. Close your eyes and think of your best friend's voice. You can hear it in your head, right? Now think of your mom, your teacher. You didn't just imagine what they look like, you heard how they sound. That's because every voice is unique. So the question is, why? Why don't we all sound the same? Why do some voices boom like thunder while others squeak like cartoon chipmunks? Let's break down the beautiful weirdness of the human voice. First, what even is a voice? Your voice is the result of air, anatomy, and vibration, all working together. It starts when you breathe out. Air travels from your lungs, up through your windpipe, and hits the vocal cords, two flexible bands of muscle in your larynx, also known as your voice box. When you speak, those vocal cords vibrate. Think of them like guitar strings. When air flows through them, they buzz and create sound waves. But that's just the beginning. Those raw sound waves then bounce around and get shaped by everything in your vocal tract, your throat, mouth, nose, tongue, teeth, and lips. This whole system acts like an amplifier, filter, and editor, all rolled into one. The result? Your voice. So why does my voice sound different from yours? Because your voice box and vocal tract are shaped differently than mine. Even small differences in size, length, tension, and muscle coordination can change everything about how you sound. Let's look at the main factors. 1. Vocal cord length and thickness. Just like thicker guitar strings make deeper sounds, thicker and longer vocal cords produce lower-pitched voices. That's why most adult men tend to have deeper voices. Voices. Testosterone during puberty thickens their vocal cords. In contrast, thinner cords vibrate faster, leading to higher pitched voices, more common in women and children. But there's tons of variation within each group. Some men have high voices, some women have deep, rich tones. It all comes down to biology, hormones, and genetics. 2. The shape of your face and skull. Yes, your bones affect your voice. Your sinuses, nasal cavity, and skull structure all influence how sound resonates. A bigger head cavity can create deeper, fuller resonance. A narrower, nasal passage can create a more nasal tone. Your cheekbones, jawline, and even how far your tongue sits can tweak how your voice sounds. 3. Your tongue, lips, and speech habits. Anatomy plays a big role, but behavior matters too. The way you learn to speak, your accent, rhythm, tone, and pacing adds layers to your voice. Two people with identical vocal cords might still sound totally different just based on language background, cultural habits, or even how animated they are when they talk. That's why identical twins can have distinct voices, and why you can sometimes tell where someone's from just by how they say coffee. Your vocal cords are like your instrument, but you're the player. And just like any instrument, it gets shaped by practice, environment, and time. Emotions and environment can instantly reshape your sound. When you're nervous, your throat tightens, your pitch rises, and your words might come out shaky or rushed. When you're angry, your voice gets louder and more forceful. When you're sad, it might sound softer, slower, or even break. Physical health matters too. If you have allergies, a cold, or even mild dehydration, your voice changes. Medical conditions like acid reflux, vocal cord nodules, or neurological issues can also permanently alter the way you sound. Social environment counts just as much. People often unconsciously mimic the speech patterns, tones, or even pitch of those around them, a phenomenon called vocal convergence. That's why couples, roommates, or close friends sometimes start to sound alike after years together, even if their voices were distinct at first. Even societal expectations play a part. Many people adjust their pitch, intensity, or rhythm based on who they're talking to, making their voice sound warmer with family, more assertive at work, or more playful with kids. Why does your recorded voice sound weird to you? Ah yes, the dreaded voicemail playback. You hear yourself and think, wait, that's what I sound like? That's because you usually hear your voice from inside your own head. When you talk, the sound travels two ways, through the air, into your ears, through vibrations in your skull and jawbones. But when you hear a recording, you only get the sound that traveled through the air. It's thinner, sharper, less bass, and it feels wrong. But guess what? That's how you actually sound to everyone else. Can your voice change over time? Absolutely. During puberty, vocal cords lengthen and thicken, especially in boys, which is why their voices crack as they grow. In adults, hormones, lifestyle, and age all have long-term effects. As you age, vocal cords can lose flexibility. That's why older voices often sound breathier or raspier. Smoking, yelling, allergies, acid reflux, or just years of loud conversations can all wear down your voice. And yes, you can train your voice. Actors, singers, and public speakers do it all the time, learning to project, control tone, reduce nasality, or even change pitch. Your voice is flexible, and it's with you for life, which means it's always evolving. And just to be clear, there's no better voice. Deep voices sound authoritative. High voices sound energetic. Gravelly voices sound cool. Soft voices sound soothing. They're all part of the amazing range of human sound. What matters is how you use your voice, how you express yourself, how you connect with others. And that's what makes every voice. Your voice is your identity in motion. It's shaped by your body, your past, your culture, your emotions, even your mood that day. Do you like the 
sound of your own voice, or do you avoid hearing yourself at all costs? Drop a comment and tell us. Your answer might end up in a future episode. And while you're here, don't forget to like this video if you learned something new. Subscribe to YX for more science that actually makes sense.